वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स इन माई न्यू टूटोरियल बेस्ड अपॉन द टॉपिक अडोब फोटोशॉप सो टूडे आई बी टीचिंग यू बेसिक एडिटिंग विच आई बी डूइंग ऑन सम इमेज लास्ट टाइम आई कवर्ड सिलेक्शन टूल्स सो दिस टाइम आई बी क्लिकिंग अपॉन ओपन दिस आई कैन क्लिक ऑन ओपन एंड एज अ रिजल्ट आई एम हैविंग सम इमेजेस you also don't worry i'll be giving you the link at the bottom of my this tutorial you can click on this link and download all these images so just now i am selecting i suppose this image and i click on open as a result you will get this image here on the canvas of my adobe photoshop and uh, here this is the basic layer it is written background i'll double click it because i want to unlock this layer i'll double click it and give it as i'll rename it actually original image and then after this even i want to duplicate this so to duplicate this image layer i'll right click it and here somewhere you will find duplicate ah uh, yes this is the duplicate layer option i'll click it here and then only uh, what i'll give i'll just rename it as duplicate so you will find that in my layers panel two layers can be seen duplicate and original and in front i icon is there it indicates layer visibility if i click it see the visibility has gone that means you can't see the image but just now i'll click on i icon in front of duplicate image and you will see the image back now in some cases you may not find this layers panel in that case what you could do from your keyboard you can press f7 function key if i'll press it you could see it's working as a toggle key once uh, if you press this uh, layers panel will come and other time it will go again i'll press it it is back and sometimes if your options are not like this interface is not like this what you could do on the top here you can always click it here here you will find essentials 3d but just now i have clicked on essentials layout you can always click on essentials and uh, if the result is not same what you want you can always click on reset essentials so i'll click upon this reset and i hope uh, you will get the result like this but i don't want these panels just taking the space of my screen so i can click here collapse to icons i can click it here and now it's okay for me i'll give little more space for my layers like this okay so once it is done now i want to do basic editing i'll click upon like this uh, layer duplicate image layer and then i can click on image adjustments these are different options so first of all i am going with hue saturation i click upon hue saturation now this hue saturation dialog box will come in front of me a uh, very powerful tool i basically use in my photo editing a lot because very fast i can do my basic photo editing changing of the color variations so for changing the color variations you could see this hue option it it is a great tool and it works upon rgb uh, different set of colors you could see here yellow is there orange green blue so if i'll just move left to right very fastly it will give me the result just check i'll move it towards this side you could see here how the color is changing like now instead of blue leaves sorry green leaves now it is blue now and sky is yellow see something unique and how many how much time i have taken just within seconds i was able to do these changes now see green sky blue sky purple sky like this kind of options very beneficial so i hope this is clear to you i'll again make to zero so that it becomes to original then saturation tool it indicates the power of the color how much color you want to throw on your image just check it out if i move towards the right side see 
it's like a burning of the colors and moving towards the left side means i'm lightening the color and ultimately it will be like just see saturation total 100 uh, first of all uh, some setting has been changed from here i'll from here i click on masters now i'll use the saturation now you see it will make to black and white image so always check that it should be to master always okay if it changes you can uh, always make it to master because master means uh, all basic three colors so just now i have done to saturation and and i made the saturation to minus 100 and you see here totally the image is like black and white okay then third option is lightness like this lightness like darker it is making the image brighter total bright okay so i hope this concept is clear to you how to move with saturation now in case of you just now i was working with master if i click here and make it to red suppose i am clicking upon red here now if i change it will only affect the red color and if any changes can be done you could see here here on the leaves on the top this it's changing so you could check which colors it is affecting saturation all, all yes sure i'll make it to it should be to zero again control u now if i make it to like suppose red see you could see here the beach reddish color means you are affecting only on the color combination where any particular color is present like here red if i am clicking on yellow just see so wherever yellow is there effect will take part on that color then green see here cyan's just see sky just check the sky color it's changing so you can try this and sometimes it becomes very easier to change the variation of the colors so i hope all the three options hue saturation and lightness is very much clear to you okay so after this once you are clear with this option i'll do some changes i just change it like suppose okay make it to let uh, this is looking like better to me now uh, but if i want to show the difference what i have done always there is option here my original image is still there i'll click it here and then i'll unclick you could see the difference here i think here better you will be having the clear idea you could see what the changes i have done sky color is changed even the water color is changed now this is the level dialog box actually it controls the input levels of all three colors rgb so now if i am using this you could see here uh, now here also we have one marker in between if i click on just towards right side you could see how it's changing that means it controls upon darker area and lighter area of the image just click it here and went towards left side you see it's totally bright okay and here also output level is there input level just see how it's changing upon actually it's a kind of a variation it is showing upon different colors you could see here uh, white is showing actually by default it is green i click on rgb and if i'll now put it dark it is uh, just for left side it will make the image darker and here if i'll do lighter and now now here also all three options rgb means red green blue now i can control individual colors suppose red it is now controlling the particular color just see only red color is been utilized so here also effects can be given from here like red and here also output if i click you see output levels how much i want more 255 less that means 16 or 6 okay and then 
the same way green color here also now using the green color i can do the changes here also how much power you want to give to the color the output levels same way blue see total yellow color image so you can do the changes from here also i like this option also levels i use a lot here also earlier i told you about hue saturation and uh, then this levels also this is also very beautiful tool either you can use on particular any color or rgb okay so i'll click on cancel i'm not doing any changes here so you are familiar with the levels and hue saturation then one more option i want to teach you curves so i'll click on curves this is also very powerful tool and keyboard shortcut is control plus m if i click on curves you see this kind of dialog box appears in front of you now in curves you will see one line is there in between and preset is default if i click on this preset you could see here color negative rgb if i click it here you could see it's giving the indication of like negative earlier when we were using photographs and uh, we were having reels that time we used to have negatives so it gives some uh, glimpses of uh, that negative then many options are there cross process darker increase increase the contrast lighter you can use any according to your need you can use any option but otherwise i'll click on default and from here i have the option suppose i'll move uh, in between just see it is making my image little lighter or from here little darker what i could do i can click here somewhere like suppose green color it is showing me that this point is available uh, when i click it here yes so i'll just move this color see it's affecting that green color a lot to that particular point like this you can do the changes from here also and now same like other option like here it is rgb is there here also i can work upon individual uh, color options like red so now if i am working on red just see what changes are going on green see blue so just try these options these are very beneficial okay so just see what my original image was and how i have converted into other image by using this kind of options which are very beneficial so now now my tutorial is becoming a little lengthy so i'll be closing my tutorial and if you like my tutorial then please do like share and comment and if you have not subscribed please subscribe my channel okay bye bye take care meet you very soon in my next tutorial